Hey, good morning, y'all. It is 10.13, and I just finally rolled out of bed. Well, I woke up early, like I always do, because I don't know how to sleep in. So I woke up at like six. Um, six o'clock. What time zone is this, Eastern time? Let me see. Yeah, so it's still like nine Chicago, Texas time. But I just woke up early. So I was up for like an hour or two, just listening to a book on Audible. Then I went back to sleep because I was just too tired to, to get up and do anything. Um, but then I was like, okay, I finally got it. Where am I going? The wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. This hotel is so confusing. Um, rolled over, it was like 9.30. I was like, let me get up, take a shower, and go run and find me some shoes. Because our van time is at one o'clock, 1 p.m. And the hours really do just go like that, so. This is so confusing. I'm just meeting up. This is where I came from. Where is... Where is... The front of this hotel? I... Oh, to lobby. Read the signs, Alexia. Go this way to the lobby. Um... Yeah. I've already ordered an Uber and I think it might be here. And here I am, lost in the hotel. So I'm gonna go to DSW. There's like a DSW like seven minutes away. Hopefully I can find me some comfortable black flats and then get back to the hotel. All right, made it to DSW. Straight to the clearance section. Ooh, ugly. But we're not looking for a cute, we're looking for comfort and, and <laughs> cheap, not cheap, but just, you know, low cost. <laughs> a little too, too tight at the toe for me. proud of myself y'all I um yeah this couch is disgusting instead of like going to like Olive Garden of Five Guys or Salad Works whatever was out there to eat I was just like you know what I did all that meal prepping yesterday so I'm gonna eat the food that I cooked and brought with me I'm back at the hotel trying to do too much it's 11 20 yourself up there um yeah so it's 11 20 right now van time is at one so i'm gonna just eat my food in here there's a microwave in here warm that up eat that real quick 
go back upstairs and get dressed and head out. Oh, the shoes, oh, I'll show them to you later. All right, y'all, made it to the airport. Waiting on the aircraft, as always. Oh, let me show y'all my new shoes. They're naturalizers. Super comfortable. Like, I'll probably never wear heels again. A little more than I wanted to spend, but they're definitely worth it. And I can actually wear these as my, just my heels because they have just enough it has to be what half an inch to three inches so this little heel qualifies yay all right guys we made it back to chicago and now i'm on the plane about to work my turn to houston and back sad day you know i would rather um be staying overnight in houston but it's just a turn so hey boarding should start in like five minutes I'm just making sure that um, I'm working the number one position so I have first class so get my drinks and ice prepared. It's really not that difficult. Um, just make sure the cabin looks good, you know, do your pre-flight checks. And yeah, that's it. Let's go. Alright y'all, my little two-day trip has come to an end. We got back on time. Today was, for the most part, pretty darn smooth <sighs> the leg back from Houston the customers were a little a little antsy I guess because the one o'clock flight I guess had a mechanical and <laughs> they had to like deplane twice and then they ended up canceling the flight so <sighs> you know, a little hoopla with that, but honestly, the customers were just, you know, at the end of the day, like, I always say the gate agents really do have, have it really bad because they have to deal with the customers. My lipstick is like, oh, ugh. Anyways, they have to deal with the customers in the midst of the situation and the anger, you know, and then... Most times, I think, once people actually get on the aircraft and get settled and we take off, they're fine. You know, they're just, like, grateful to be getting to where they're supposed to be going. And, you know, some people are still a little upset because they're missing connections and all kind of sort of things. But, yeah. I'm a little tired. I woke up tired this morning. Like, I just, I guess I did not rest well, like at all um so i'm back to my cousin's house i did prep bid for tomorrow um but i didn't get anything i got 7 p.m to midnight wrap again reserve availability period so tomorrow during the day i have chipped a couple of nails today so that gives me time at least to like go get my nails done. Maybe go find like a little brunch spot tomorrow Sunday. So I text Brittany to see if she wants to go brunch. And she was like, I'll be in Atlanta. Oh, I got flight benefits and I'm going to fly. Uh -uh. <laughs> Just kidding. But not really. Um, so yeah, maybe me and my cousin can go do brunch or something. There's a little spot that I saw the other day when I went for a walk. It looked like it would be pretty good. So yeah, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm going to call it a night and we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm good for two more days. So if they call me tomorrow night, um, we'll see. Who knows? Hey guys, good morning. It's Sunday. Ugh, I'm hungry. I just got to this place called Summer House. The setting is really cute. It's very summery. <laughs> um, and they have some brunch. So I think I'm going to get me a little. What time is it? Maybe I won't be getting me a mimosa. Because I'm on call tonight at 7 and it's already 11.30. Um, 
So water or sparkling water, it'll be. <laughs> and see what's on this breakfast menu that I can eat. I might go hang out with the friends a little later. Just try to get out the house, not sit around all day. Menu. I'll check in with y'all later. anything or is it just the pancakes alone? Those will just be the pancakes by themselves, yeah. Okay, is there any, I didn't see anything else like that. Okay, well let me get the, how are the chocolate chip? Oh, that's chocolate chip waffle. waffle. Yeah, that whole waffle will be like having uh, chocolate, chocolate inside. Chip. So it'll be like a chocolate waffle. I think I'm gonna just, how many pancakes come with this? Uh, three, and they're a, a pretty large size. Yeah. Okay, let me do the buttermilk pancakes. Can I have a side of, um, brown sugar candy bacon and um, let me just get like scrambled eggs. Uh, two, 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 eggs. Eggs, two eggs with cheese, cheddar cheese. And that should be it. Yes, thank you. Fluffy pancakes that smell delicious. Some brown sugar candied bacon and some eggs with scramble and water. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Hold on. Pause my audio book. It is Monday. Clearly, nothing happened yesterday because <laughs> I didn't come back on and vlog. Um, I had reserved from seven to twelve. 7 to midnight, 7 p.m. to midnight, let me clarify. Um, and yeah, nothing happened. So, I am on my last day of reserve for this block, of this schedule block. Um, it was a five day block, or six day block, I think it was five. Anyways, um, so yeah, I start reserve 10 a.m. to midnight today. It's quite possible they could call me in for airport standby or assign me a turn. They could do whatever they want with me today and I would be okay with that. Um, I am off tomorrow just for one day and then I start my last five day block. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this block was a six day block. I'm off tomorrow then I start another five day block of reserve. So yeah. Um, let's see if there's anything available for today. It doesn't look like there's any trips in open time. Yeah, I don't see anything. Um, but, you know, you never know. That's what reserve flight tends are for. People call out. Um, delays happen. All kind of stuff happens to where... Whatever crew was scheduled to work the flight can't work the flight, and then they call a reserve. So, we'll see if I get called today. Right now, I'm just kind of chilling. I'm going to eat me some breakfast. You know what I'm trying, y'all? I want to be dairy-free. Auntie Jackie, Jackie Ina from YouTube, told me that, you know, if I want to take my skincare to the next step to really elevate regardless of all the products that I can use that dairy free is what's gonna do it for me you know I'm in her comments always reading and she just has such pretty skin and you know that's what she said so I'm gonna take her word for it because everything else she says I just go with <laughs> so but I'm just like cheese is my best friend it's literally my best friend so I just made some breakfast tacos with no cheese. Step number one. So, it's like I just tend to forget. Like, every time I've tried to be dairy-free, I've maybe done it for like a day. And then day two, I completely forget. And then I'm like, oh yeah, give me the cheese, the sour cream, all of the above. So, anyways, I'm going to try to focus on that as far as, you know, health-wise, eating-wise, and see what it does. Because my skin... My skin isn't like bad, but I do get like you see like little random breakouts here and there. And I mean, I drink a lot of water, probably still not enough, but I drink a lot. I don't eat horribly. You know, it's it's not that time of the month. Um so it's really just I'm just thinking it just has to be 
the food that I'm eating. So yeah, I'm gonna take the dairy out and see what happens. If any of y'all are dairy free and have any tips for me, let me know, please and thank you. Anyways, we'll catch up later. Wendy Williams is, is, is on. All right, y'all. So it is 6.53 p.m. Still on reserve until midnight, but I was only good for today and I don't think there's anything else they could possibly assign to me. I'm not even gonna bother um, calling to get released because it's not like I'm trying to go anywhere and I wanna be on the safe side, you know? I just, doesn't really affect me. Um, but I promised one of my classmates that I would walk them through the process of bidding for reserve. So I figured I might as well vlog it so y'all can kind of hear how that goes. Uh, hey girls. Hey Jenny. How are you? I'm good. How good. Just... We're in the crew room. Oh. <laughs> So Miss Abby is over there. She's got um, hey, one of my AirPods in. She's listening. Oh. So I figure we've got um, a devil. We're going to listen to you this way. Okay. Uh, so we were just like looking at the Dallas bid packets right now. Mm-hmm. Um, like what we wanted. Yeah. Um, so the R's, that means reserve, right? Wait, so you're looking and, at, you're looking at, y'all are looking at the pre-bid stuff. That's over. Oh, that's pre-bid stuff. The R, the, the, hold on, let me go to the website. This is what I was looking at, so. Yeah, those are the pre-bid lines, so that ended already. You have to do the pre-bids, I believe, what, what dates, the 10th through the 13th or something? Yeah, the 15th or something like that, or whatever, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, if you wanted to bid, like, from one of those pre-made, hey, Andre. She said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you wanted to bid for one of those, you would have had to do it during the pre-bid, when pre-bids are open. Got you. Okay. Yeah, gotcha, like, gotcha. Well, anytime it's one of the, the already made lines, the RBLs, the CDOs, whatever they call these things, all of those right. are during the pre-bid portion. Yes. Got you. Okay. Which honestly, okay. we're we're not gonna really get those until yeah. we get more seniority, seniority. as reserves. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of what I thought. Okay. Um. So now you can just go into PBS. Good morning, good people. It is the next morning, Tuesday, September seventeenth, and I am off today. So as y'all can tell, <laughs> I didn't get used yesterday either. Um, the easiest reserve week, I guess you could say, I've had. Most boring reserve week I've had as well. <laughs> um, I was good for six days this week and I only got used two of those days. Um, so yeah, you know, that's the life of reserve. Sometimes you get used like a dog and sometimes you just sit with not a lot of options to do anything because you're on call. So you can't stray too far. Um, you know, you have to be available to report to the airport within two hours and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is try to make the best of today. And, uh, oh, I look crusty. This bump right here is just not my friend. And I've been trying really hard not to pick at it because I don't want it to leave a mark. I told y'all I'm trying to do this. Um, you see, like, this little bump over here, too? Um, this dairy-free lifestyle just, just to get rid of it all. Anyways. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> um, five more days here in Chicago after this. Five more days and then I am going back to Texas, baby. Dallas, to be exact. Um, so we'll see how that, that goes. I'm still kind of wavering back and forth on if I should get a crash pad or not. 
Um, I think I might just get one at least for a month or two just to see what the commuting will be like back and forth to Houston if I want to do that like daily or not or will my four commuter hotels be able to last me you know like there's just kind of a lot to to really think about um but yeah that's just where I'm at right now anyways let me not just keep talking and jibber jabbering we'll probably start a new vlog tomorrow all right Thank you all for watching and thank you all for subscribing. The channel is growing beautifully since I've been back on the tube. I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. I really do love doing these videos and putting out this <clears throat> and putting out this content for you all. Um, so yeah, make sure you keep subscribing, keep sharing these videos to your friends um, or loved ones or whoever. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!